Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Settlement Survival. Now, this is a sponsored series where all throughout the week I've been building this brand new settlement to celebrate the game's 1.0 launch on Steam. If you want to check out the game for yourself, please do consider checking out the link in the top comment or the description of the video and it'll take you straight to the Steam page and let you find out a little bit more about the game. Or you can also check out the playlist of videos so you can catch up on the previous episodes if you've missed them. But I'm actually going to do a quick recap as to where we're currently at, the current situation and where everything is kind of located just to get everyone on the same page, get everyone orientated the same way. So, we're currently at year 7, we're in October, we're coming up to winter yet again. We have 95% happiness in our settlement, which sounds awesome, but it's actually, it seems like the top tier is really 300%, so we're pretty low down there. But if we get to 100, we then cancel out any negative effects that we currently have, the main one of which is food consumption is increased by 10%, so I'd love to get rid of that if I could. Health-wise, people are okay, not the best, people are kind of dying a little bit. But um, the things we can work on, at least in this episode, will be logistic equipment and sanitation. I'm going to see if we can give people baskets or bags and maybe get some sort of doctors up. Well, we already have a clinic and stuff, but there's other things you can do, bathhouses and stuff, to improve sanitation. So we're going to be working on that. Now, to kind of orientate you for where we are in this settlement, so obviously we have our river to the south. So we'll start here. We've got the river industry. A couple of reservoirs producing large amounts of water. We can see all the water being stored up here in this kind of open storage. And then we sort of have extra river industry, the textile industry. The Here is the knitting workshop, the tailor, and the reed field. So these three sort of work in tandem, making different things. We have the fishing dock, of course, getting extra bits of food. And then a sand pit, which is dredging up stuff from the riverbed, such as clay and sand. So that's kind of that little industry portion down there. Over to the left side of our town. I hesitate to call it the west, because we're actually facing the opposite way to northwest, east, and south. Uh, but anyway, on the left side of the screen here, we have our big quarry, getting stone. Further out, we have a gathering hut where people gather berries, mushrooms, all these types of plants that we're kind of queuing up over here. We've got two crop fields, one with a big boost to its fertility and what it's supposed to be able to, uh, its yield, basically. And the other, not so much, but just another field there anyway. And actually, just really quickly, at the end of the last episode, I'd queued up getting chickpeas and regular peas. But I'd noticed in our veg, uh, veg processing plant, if we want to make the veggie salad, of which we've already made a little bit, just people ate it like immediately, um, there's no actual, you don't just take any vegetable to do that. There's specific ones that get turned into that veggie salad. So chickpeas and regular peas are not one of them. So what I'm going to do is actually switch this to chickpeas. Just because I feel like it, I want to get chickpeas. And then this one I'm going to put back on broccoli. And the broccoli then we'll use... Hmm. Actually, you know what? The one with the increased yield, actually, yeah. The one with the increased re yield, I'll use broccoli. And this one, sorry, I'll use chickpeas. Just thinking about it, it's like, you get less broccoli, so if we're boosting that, maybe that's a good thing, and then we can refine it in the vegetable processing plant to get some veggie salad out. Um, you can actually tell people not to consume a food. I remember reading that, but I haven't actually done that before. Let me see if it's uh, able, am I able to do it here? Hmm. Uh, I think it's the town overview. We go to stock management, and then if we find broccoli... We can say ban. So ban citizens from using or eating the item. Item can only be processed. Yes. So there we go. So we've actually got a current stock of it. That's perfect. So it's like, just don't touch it. Let us make the vegetables with it. The veggie salad. The other one that we currently have anyway is squash. We should do the same for that. It's a really nice feature to be able to do that, actually. So that's good. Anyway, I got a little sidetracked, but good thing we've done that. So you can actually see. Oh, that's nice. Little icon there. Little no-go sign, not going to be touched on that. So I'm just going to then click this and click this, and that's how much raw food we have now. So nice to just keep an eye on that, on the entire category. I thought you could only do it per item, but you can actually do it per category, which is great. Again, just think the UI is awesome. Um, okay, so just to orientate ourselves a little further, over on the further left side of our town towards the back, we have our chapel, our graveyard, and then a hunter's hut where we're gathering some meat. We have a butcher, that's kind of a hologram at the moment, a blueprint for something you want to build later. A town hall, where we can accept the immigrants and where we have these sort of advisors give us boons across the entire settlement. A clinic, where we're curing sickness. And then we've got a couple of housing estates here, six here and six here. In the center, we then have a market, plus a little storage yard that we were given, a durable storage yard. You actually have to unlock that in technologies, and we haven't done that yet. Um, but we got given one to begin with, so... 
Then we've also got the marketplace, which is distributing some of the goods to the houses. We then have a couple of sawmills right in the center. We have our lant uh, latrine, where people are getting their poop collected, and a well. So pretty straightforward. On the right side, we have a school. All the kids are going to school here. Basically, if they're eight years old, they go to school for a year to two years until they become ten years old and graduate. Um, we've also just obviously got a bunch of houses, a repair house, excuse me, a repair shop that is kind of just making sure these houses have their little bit of extra timber. They, they have a durability to them, which is right here. And when that falls up below a certain amount, then they have to get some timber and repair. On the right hand side of the town, the last little bit then we have is the mine that we built into the mountain. Big storage yard for stuff. We're making uh, tools here, iron tools. So we combine iron and timber just to make uh, iron tools. And then we have the water saw mill and the forester hut. So, I've been reading actually about the forester hut a little bit. The big problem I've had in this game the whole time is timber. I'm just always seemingly short on it. So I was actually having a look. When someone goes out and grabs a tree, and a big one, it's one that I would identify as being mature, you know, fully grown, they're only getting like two to three wood from it. So it's a really, really small amount, which seems obvious now, like why we're deforesting the whole map and getting very little for it. So I was like, okay, there's got to be a better way, right? I'm probably just not reading something. And of course, that's the answer. So here, foresters will plant saplings and periodically chop down mature trees within the structure's range. More wood can be gathered when the forester chops down trees. So I haven't actually looked at the specific number, but I think it's a guarantee that this is the way you're supposed to do it, right? We're supposed to put people into this building, have them plant and fell trees, and they should have an increased rate of doing that. Now, I've already kind of manually taken trees away from here, and some trees just grow back naturally, so we can always get them as well. But what I'm going to do is build another forester hut further out this way, just because there's already a big group of trees here already. And uh, let them get to work over there. So that should be fine. They'll actually clear a couple of trees. Then we'll just build a little dirt road that leads out uh, from here, maybe. Nice, that worked out well. Cool, so yeah, we'll do that. And then as we get into winter, maybe we'll just chop the ones down that are immediately close to us. Now I'm going to do the unthinkable. I'm going to actually turn off all of my sawmills. Turn them off. What else can I turn off? Uh, I had other things in mind, but I can't quite remember. Well, I guess that might be it. If we're turning off the sawmills... Yeah, anyway, the idea is we can put more people on this. Tell these guys just to plant. So they'll just go planting for a while. Um, anyone that's free, we've got six laborers. Maybe get in here. So seven people getting stone. And yeah, I guess that's kind of it. These things have already been harvested. We have people making food. All right, we can let time play. I'll just slow it down just to ease back into the flow of the game. Okay, apparently it's winter. I guess that was just on the first load. I hadn't like let time play or anything yet, so that was just like <laughs> kind of jarring. It's like, oh, it's freezing. Um, so how are we doing for, yeah, for fuel? Fuel is really good. We actually have 750, uh, 720 in storage, not in all the houses. So obviously that'll get kind of consumed over time. And then, oh, now I remember what I was going to turn off. Water. So I'm actually going to set the limit of water to probably like 1200. But what I'm just going to do anyway is just be a bit more manual with it and toggle them off. So I just want to free up a lot of workforce so that we can... Uh, basically, just I'm just going to be rotating people around. Get more stone, get a few different things, and uh, then go fell some trees during the winter that are close by. So I'll just, again, add in a few more people here. And then I guess we'll just say now we can gather all and just tell them to gather everything here. Maybe increase the amount of builders we have just by a little bit. And they're doing some stone roads at the moment, so that'll help them. But yeah, those extra four people then we have three available. Once this is built, we'll get them out there. All right, looking good. So one of the things I've written down is cut stone to heating. So we've got two technology points available. Just speed of time a tiny bit in the background. And I'd like to get to trade, obviously. But also there's still a few things left in the top tier categories we haven't got yet. Cut stone would be one of them. So a masonry workshop would allow us to get cut stone. And the reason we'd want that is... Well, there's a few things that use it. We've also got, yeah, warehouses is another one, actually. I'm going to go warehouses first. So warehouses is just a better storage facility than the one we currently have. And the one after that, then, is durable storage yards. But I'm going to go with this one. The store is quite a lot of stuff. I don't know. 
larger storage capacity than a storage yard. I guess this is just like basically free to put down, almost free to put down. The construction cost is really cheap. Warehouse is obviously more expensive than that, but at least it holds a huge amount of stuff. So I want to get one of these down and store up all the water in there. So let's just go with that. Damn, I wish I wrote it down. I just forgot what the other thing was that I wanted. It actually required cut stone. Cut stone. Well, I know that I'm going to have to get cut stone. It wasn't any of this stuff. It was to do with food, I thought. Drinks, maybe? Oh, no, heating. Sorry, heating. I even said it. Yeah, so there we go. So basically, this is an interesting room. One of the problems I had was heating, right? I had to get all that um, wood and constantly like feed it into all these houses and then chop it all up and all that. This says, boiler room can provide insulation to the buildings in its zone of effect. When the boiler room is enabled and working, houses around will stop consuming domestic fuel while keeping uh, them insulated. So it requires cut stone to be built. You need 40. And I'm sure it uses quite a decent amount of fuel, but if we have a lot of houses in its coverage zone, then maybe we can save on some of that fuel cost. So that's something we want to get. So we'll just go, you know, start from the bottom up, go with the cut stone next. That's all of our tech points. So we'll have to wait a little while. But I just thought I would show my workings on that. Sorry for getting a little uh, bogged down or distracted there from, for a moment. Now, I wonder, are we going to start seeing hungry people because we told them not to eat, but they should just be cranking out the veggie salads right now. <laughs> we have Reva and York and Newman. One's working, one's carrying, and one's taking a break. So when they're actually highlighted green, I think that means that they're the ones uh, doing the work at the moment, from what I can tell, because all these are green. They're currently mining, whereas this person is currently carrying. So it's kind of an indication of what you're getting done. Now, the reason I want to get so much stone is to increase and uh, improve our stone roads, make stone roads a bit more ubiquitous. Now, I'm not sure how big the boiler room is going to be, but, you know, we'll probably have to leave room around one of these houses at some point. All right, I guess we can speed time up. So we're not getting any water or any fuel right now, but I think we'll easily make it through the winter and stuff, and we could just turn these back on if we need to, and we know that we'll be producing enough then. I would always like to have a decent storage, but I'm planning on building, like I said, that warehouse. So in here, logistics, we have a small warehouse. Can store materials, smaller size with smaller storage capacity. I want to build a big one. Pop it right down here. I don't know how much it can actually store. I just know that it's the best of the best for the moment. So it's actually pretty expensive, though. 40 stone, 40 iron, and 60 logs. So we've got 60 logs now. So just pop that down right there. And then we'll tell it to exclusively store water. Uh, and maybe just anything that comes from this region. We just had our one of our merchant vessels go by. I uh, also want to get a trader up today if I can, but we'll see how we do for construction material. That's really like my big limiting factor. Always very low on construction material. These raw materials and construction materials, quite low. So how are we doing with the this thing? So this is the priority right now. So stone should really go to that if we can. It needs 30. It needs 30 iron ore. We have someone working on iron ore as well. Three available laborers. I guess let's get someone else in there to help with the iron ore. No candies. Boo hoo. Uh, yeah, we do have some people who are hungry. Hopefully, I, it's, it's a bit risky. Food reserves are low at home. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not as the same as being actually starving. One person is starving. Malcolm. He'll be fine. Is he okay? Did he just eat? Yeah, he did. Oh, nice. Great. Well, I mean, it doesn't say that, but um, he no longer... Yeah, there we go. Good. Simple food. Boom. Love to see it. So, yeah. So, we can actually see the tiers in here. Happiness needs. You know, level zero is no shoes at all. Straw shoes, leather shoes, leather boots. Up to 50% happiness. So that's given him a 40% happiness boost. So that's good. Hey, we just hit 100. Excellent. It's the first time we've done it. Although it says when I hover over at 98. So I guess maybe we still I don't have the effect active yet. I don't know. Who knows? It's one or the other. 100 or 98. I'd say until hovering over it says 100. It's probably, it's probably not. But we're getting close. That's the important thing. Uh, so yeah, so down here we can see people are in need of clothes, so we might want to get this building back online. And tools. Which we actually have online right now, but there's a lack of raw materials. Looks like iron ore maybe is getting consumed a bit too much in the buildings we're building. People are kind of cold, citizens want houses, so people wanting new houses means that just some houses are kind of getting overcrowded right now. 
but we don't really have the time or the, the construction material really to be building them. So I just have to leave it. Man, these guys are taking ages with all this stone. How are we doing now? 24 out of 30? At least they're doing it. That's good. And we're into December. Okay. I think I've largely stabilized things. It, I, I'm not immediately concerned for anything. Food still is always in the red, but I think now producing that better food and doing both will be pretty good. So we'll get this big yield next year of chickpeas, hopefully, and then we'll get a big yield of broccoli that we're going to be exclusively turning into veggie salad. So the two foods combined should hopefully satiate everybody, I would hope. I guess ideally you just have these things because it, it would be better, but it's kind of interesting. The chickpea... We get 11 broccoli per tile, whereas this we get 23 chickpeas, and as, as far as I know, they eat them just the same amount, you know? But it does take up more storage and things like that. So we're also building this, 57 out of 60, so we've just consumed all the wood yet again. So let's just queue up a few extra wood bits. Gather all here. I suppose just gather everything at the back again, even though it's only going to be tiny little bits. They're working on just planting for the moment, okay. It's nice turning off the UI and actually soaking in the scenes of the streets. Those blueprint ones are a little bit of an eyesore, the way I've left them. The lanterns and pumpkins look pretty cool though. Five birds occurred last season, good. 23 and 13, 40, we're still at 49 working adults. Kind of waiting on that number to come up, although some people are starting to die of old age now. Eight people are starving, so that's a little concerning. Maybe I should let them at least eat squash or something and keep maybe some, or one or the other. I think both can be used for veggie salads. Let's check this. Yeah, squash, 20 squash for 10 veggie salad. What about broccoli? It's 20 to 10 as well. So yeah, I guess I'll let them eat the broccoli, and then we'll keep the squash for the veggie salads. Hopefully, that'll get to everyone then. So it's a little risky telling them they can't eat two things and putting everything on dependent on one building. So we'll just take the ban off that one, at the very least. So maybe they'll just go run and get some of that broccoli now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Starting to see the symbols go away. 108 broccoli just sitting there. People are being told they're not allowed to eat it. Man, they eat it all pretty quickly. Holy crap. <laughs> So they made 330 veggie salads last year, and it wasn't even online the whole time. Two people are resting, taking a break, and one's carrying. Ugh. What are you carrying, actually, then, Reva? Stuff back to her own house, it seems. All right, I'm a little scared, but at least I know, so <laughs> I've got to... I'm going to let them eat the squash as well. Just gra grab what you can. I just don't want anyone dying. Completely unfairly, unnecessarily, you know? But uh, hopefully when you eat some of this food, we can then bring up the veggie salads. Two people I'm seeing are hungry out there. 49 still adults. I'm just waiting to see if anyone's going to die, basically. Oh, you know what? We should also be getting fish. Forgot about that. So to get more, let's just reduce down a little bit of the quarry. Get some more people on fishing. It'll take a while for them to get there, but... Once they do, it'll definitely help. So yeah, man, God, they consumed it so fast. Holy crap. It's almost gone completely. So if we clock, uh, tick on all raw food, we've only got 22 raw food now. Hot damn. So that, I mean, this basically means that we might as well turn this building off. There's nothing left for them to even cook at this point. Not really. We'll wait until maybe it says it can't make anything. Hated to have to do it, but I mean, people were starving, so we didn't have time to cook it. You know, that's what it felt like. Um... And there's still people who are hungry. Four people. So we're going to rely on the hunting. And we're going to rely on the fishing. To help these guys out for a little while. And we're also gathering as well out here. Again. Desperate times. I feel like let's just lower down the quarry a little bit more. Put more people on gathering perhaps. And this is almost done. God it took the whole like four or five months just to get this built. Started in October. It's February. Still not done. This is almost done. Wow. The other one has the priority. At least water and fuel have been okay. That's something. Not seeing anyone dying just yet. Still 49. Still happy with that. 
Just hoping they can get... There we go. They're not making any food anymore. So let's just cancel that building. Toggle that off. Get more people in here. I did some learning about the... And reading about the pasture. So basically, we should get a message about when we have an animal available. Now, apparently, we could have got some animals before, but they only... If you have nowhere to store them, they don't... They kind of just walk away eventually, so... The hunter's hut eventually should return turkeys or something that's in the vicinity. There's buffalo around, something like that, and then we can hopefully put them in there. Alright, sorry for being so back and forth with this. I'll just leave it on four then. And here we're going to put this on four. So this should give us a consistent wood income for a while. Fell trees and plant trees. We'll just tell them to fell for a while. And this one's just going to be exclusively on planting. So the two are going to be working in tandem, I guess. Uh, hopefully we'll start to see raw materials and wood come up and then we can continue building some of these houses and different things So the storage facility is up and running. So let's just select all turn off turn off everything And we'll specifically say what we want in here water Really anything that's in this region. Maybe some fish Because every now and then I see people dropping things off a bit too far away uh, And it just could be because they're walking to their house and as they're passing by things they drop them in there um, but if we give it a bit more of a strict order about what can go where, I think we'll see a little bit of an efficiency boost. Just a little bit. Uh, so yeah, maybe leather as well. So leather and then rough clothes. Uh, what was the other one? Straw shoes. Soon we'll be able to get those baskets. Next thing would be clay. And sand. And I think that's basically it. Anything else? So let's just go through these buildings. That's clean, clean sand, reeds, fish, water, um, rough clothes, leather, and straw shoes. Yeah, I think that's basically it. So hopefully they'll start moving things to here now. Um, I could literally delete this. I don't know if it gets rid of what's in here. Um, so I'll just toggle this off so that they stop storing things in here and then I can remove it. Uh, just over time they'll start taking things out of there I guess. Alright, good. No one's died of hunger just yet. Food reserves are low. Three people are starving. Fourteen people, no clothes. We have the tailors up and running again. They should get their batches of clothes soon. Stone reserves are low. Two tools are missing. This building is working again as well. Good. Okay, everything's kind of coming back online nicely. We're about to have this fire, apparently. Random buildings will catch fire. But it says that you can put out fires with the well. That's why I haven't gotten rid of the well. I don't think the reservoirs do it. So you need the well to be here. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting these farms going as well. They get planted in March. Sowing season is both March for both of these. Yeah, so just I guess it's coming up, so we'll just leave it. But once everything's sown, I think you can just take those people off that to like, turn off the farms for a while until they're done. If you want to min-max them, now they become laborers to do other things. But if you wanted to literally like, put them into another role, you could do that. So I might, I might try that out. Production has been suspended. Yeah, we don't have any people. There we go. March has arrived. So you do get event notifications for the major season changes. Uh, still 49. Haven't seen anyone die. We have 8 out of 18. That was what we had at the end of the last episode. So that's good. All right. So sowing should begin on chickpeas and broccoli, I would hope. And we still have a little bit of... Uh, stone path that's not quite finished yet. There we go. They're working on it. Five people per farm. That's a good amount, I think. Food is just gone. It's empty. It's done. The fish last year was 648. That's pretty good. It's obviously not enough, though. Oh, it's like all these animals walking around. Hunting. Can we get another hunter? Just so low on stuff. Oh my god, there's the fire. Uh, okay, so we'll turn this on. Maybe let people use it. I don't know if we have to literally put people on it. This person off. There we go. Hopefully she can run over and put that out. I'm guessing it's just going to damage the gerb. People are just walking in there like it's... Well, how many people are going in there? <laughs> I guess they all have water on them, do they? No, they don't. Are they just going in here to die? What's going on? <laughs> Guys, the house is on fire. Okay, I guess they had water on them or something. Jeez. <laughs> Scaring me. Alright, cool. 
All good. Food is starting to kind of come up. Still have a couple hungry people. Just one person starving. Marcus. God, he's it's very brutish compared to all the, everyone else. What's he doing? He's carrying nine logs. What a man. Don't walk in that farm. Don't do it. There you go. Oh, he did it a little bit. As if I didn't see that. So, low, lack of raw materials. Yeah, there's no one getting reeds. So, get someone on that. All right, we've one free laborer. At least now we're getting a more... Look at this. We're getting... Yeah, yeah, 51 logs. Great. Good stuff. All right, let's speed up time again. They're just on purely felling trees. So, once it looks a bit thin, we'll tell them to plant and fell trees. Because I have a feeling... It needs to just be left on both, not just one or the other, and rotating them, I'm guessing. Um, right, so what's the next building then? So, cut stone and heating. Do we have the next tech point? Not yet. We could start working on cut stone. The masonry workshop, 60 and 40. We have enough iron ore, and we have enough logs, so we could do it. Put it next to the quarry. What's the range of this? Okay. Yeah, maybe just right across from it. Why not? Because they go off hunting anywhere on the map. They don't actually need a range around them. And then maybe a little warehouse or something. Logistics, a small warehouse here. So a small warehouse takes 40 logs. So it is quite a lot of logs that we're burning through, I guess. But we'll let them build this house as well. Get a few extra houses for people that want them. Cool. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. I think things are looking up. It's a hell of a wake-up call in the struggle when people started dying. Houses were falling apart. Clothes. We didn't have any clothes. No one had shoes. It's like, jeez. <laughs> um, and that might be the case again. We're still not really making shoes properly at the proper rate. It's not enough to s satiate everyone's demand for them yet. And we don't have any of these advanced things to improve the buildings. So we have, we'd have to build a second one, I guess. 55 shoes made last year. It seems like they're only lasting a year. Yeah, I guess so. They're only straw shoes, like sandals. Three births occurred last season. Good. The reserve of food is low. Not good. The reserve of water and domestic fuel is pretty good. Doesn't mean too bad. Kind of interesting seeing how many people are working different jobs. So town overview, here's the professions. Laborer, just one. Builder, four. Farmer, ten. It's actually quite nice to see this. I didn't really think about that. Forester is eight. Miner, two. We do have the cleric, doctor, teacher. Some people actually, I saw the comments of the first video they're saying you shouldn't have a teacher this early. But I feel like if the classes are full, it's not a bad thing. I know that it is really just for like only the jobs that should have. Educated people, really, you don't need that many at this point. I guess so. But, uh, I don't know. I'm okay with it. 87% education. That's pretty damn good. 88 inhabitants in total. Alright. It's kind of good to see this. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything I'd want to get rid of? Reed farmer, repairman, cleric, doctor, teacher, vendor, tailor. No, not really. I feel like everything's quite useful. <laughs> well, maybe overkill on the foresters, but wood is so high, heavily in demand. Farming is definitely super needed, but we'll take them off the farms once they're done. In fact, it basically looks like they are done. It says, is farming. I wonder, do they improve the yield the longer they stay on it or something? And maybe it's just the winter months where they're not needed there. Yeah, I guess so. I wouldn't want to risk taking them off it. Last year, we got 1,200 squash. Broccoli, broccoli 9. Chickpea, 18. Hmm, I thought the number was much higher before. Oh, maybe that's just the way it is now, right? Because of the ripeness. Probably. We'll check it in later, and I guess we'll have a look. Okay, so water... Yeah, raw, I mean, this wood situation seems to definitely be working. So that's good. Uh, we got an extra... Hey, we're up to 50 adults. Nice. So let's open up this house as well. That'll be the final house for a little while. Let them build it. They're storing up some stuff in here. They're slowly taking away things out of here. I don't think they physically take things away, but they'll be distributing to other places. I'm gonna see what happens. Please, God, don't destroy all of that. I don't think it will. Every time I've destroyed other buildings, it keeps everything. Oh, it looks like maybe they're now gonna take things out, actually. That'd be good. 
Yeah, they're storing stuff in here. Excellent. That's great. Perfect. Love it. Oh, cool. We built our other warehouse as well. Uh, yeah, let's just say... Don't store anything in here. Just keep the... Well, I can go to the categories now, actually. So, ore. Yeah, anything ore-related. Maybe construction materials. That's fine. Uh, the masonry workshops. That's going to be... I guess, like, cut stone and stuff. That's construction material. Yep. Um, hunting. Food. Maybe. Yeah, food's okay to store here as well. And from the farms, obviously. Obviously. Raw food materials. What's that? Uh, hmm. It says raw materials, but these are actually all refined ones. So it's a little different. So not really. But yeah. Cool. That's fine. Alright, I think I'll leave that at that. That small warehouse there. Only 8% full. What about this? This is 2% full. Yeah, it's huge. Excellent. Good. Alright, nice. Oh, I shortened this down somehow. Don't even know how I did that. This button? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Someone asked me, what is that noise that goes off every now and then? I think it's when certain months change, when the season changes. I'm not too sure, though. There's a question mark here. What's this? A product has not been selected for the masonry workshop. Cut stone. Six stone into three stone. Yeah, let's just do that. You don't need to work this, though, now. We'll do that later. I'm still hurting for stone. It's good to get it built, though. And now they don't have to go too far to bring their stone to wherever they're... Yeah, we just got it again. That little ping noise. What is it? <laughs> I don't know what it is. The month didn't change again. Oh, it's when a building gets finished. That's what it is. I remember now. Yeah, so we just finished the house. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it might be time to turn back on something like this and get some domestic fuel going again. And uh, even water, maybe. So it's going to require pulling some people off certain things. Let's tell them to plant trees as well as felling them now. And you can do the same. Felling and planting. So I'm going to reduce this down to three and three. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so we've got two more people on that. Good. God, we have to reorganize and move people around so much at the moment. Just because we're so limited for the amount of people we have. Two citizens are starving. Are we harvesting yet? Ripeness, 88%. It hasn't changed. It still says 9. Last year was 1,693 broccoli. A caravan from the north passed by and their drinks were running out. They wanted to exchange their goods for some spirits. Our hardwood tools are strong and durable. And you won't lose out in exchange for the same amount of spirits. We don't have any beer. Sorry, man. I can't do it. Immigrants arrive again. Hmm. Tempting. Oh, yeah. I think we'll just take them in. I just feel like the answer to my problems is, like, I need more people. It's not necessarily that I won't be able to feed them. I think they can easily feed themselves if we could just get the work spread around. It's just because of all the little small industry jobs that you have to kind of maintain. Happiness has fallen down a bit. Entertainment is something that people need, but I don't really know what we can do to help them with that. Right, so this should stave off water for a little while and give us some household fuel for a little while as well, just by making a little bit in the background. Um, it'll probably still keep falling, though. I'm aware of that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of clothes now, so you can get back on this building and start making some of those shoes again. In fact, two people can make them. As people are a little low on shoes. Food's coming up though. The harvest is good. Yeah, actually, speaking of the harvest, I've been meaning to say again, don't consume the broccoli. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we'll get people to start cooking again. I'm so at a loss of who to take off what jobs now. Reduce down the mines a bit, I guess. One of the builders can come back. Yeah. All right, that's three people in here then. A lack of raw materials. I don't think so. You should be able to get some. We have broccoli all over the place. 856 broccoli. Yeah, you should be fine. And then the chickpeas should get stored up and just eaten immediately, I guess, by people who are hungry. At least there's nobody hungry now, so that's good. We're up to 1,200 food as we're just currently in the harvest. 
Hopefully it'll last. And then during the winter, I might just take these people off the farms. That's going to free up 10 people, put them onto hunting and things like that. Still haven't picked up another animal, no? No. Got buffalo right there. How much fish did we make last year? 648. This year, 704. God damn. That's quite a lot. And I still feel like it's just nothing's enough. It's never enough. Trees are starting to come back, though, out here. That's nice to see. Autumn arrived. Time for harvest. Well, we've already been harvesting. They tend to do it a little earlier. Once it's at ripeness, I guess they tend to get it. So, yeah, this one's done. Just broccoli again. Last, last year was much better than this year. I wonder why. Like, why? Hmm, don't know. Oh, we had that um, modifier for increased yields. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at the amount of chickpeas there. 2,070. Haven't even gotten everything yet. Nice. Love an old chick chickpea curry. Pretty good. Uh, but I think these guys are just going to be eating it raw, to be fair. All right, we're up to 51 working adults, 28 children, and 15 currently in school waiting to come of age. We then have, we're just about at the other tech point again. Oh yeah, I saw this as well, the candy workshop. Can purchase all kinds of candies which increase happiness after eating. Tell me about it. Dude, literally before I started this, I mean, I've talked about it before, my chocolate addiction. And I relapse every now and then. I've had a relapse recently. But I've needed to. Um, I'm going away like at the end of the month, so I've... It gives me a boost of energy and makes me happy, basically. So, I've just been eating Milky Bar. It's my favorite. Milky Bar white chocolate. And also Kinder... Uh, what's it called? Maxi Bars? I think they have another name there now. But yeah, Kinder Maxi Bars. Got a bunch of those. Got some Walkers. Prawn Cocktail. Blueberry Muffins. And LucasAid Sport. Just loaded it all up in a big bag uh, before I started recording these. <laughs> it's fuel. Literal fuel. I was trying to think what to do next. So the harvest is done. We're coming up to winter. So I feel like, yeah, just turn these off. Turn those off. That's fine. So we just freed up 10 people. So they're getting their wood just fine. Wood is piling up because stone is building up as well. So that's great to see. So we're recovering that aspect. Definitely need another hunter out there. Hopefully that's going to increase our chances of getting uh, an animal to actually put in here. And then we can kind of think about what we want to build next. We're about to get some immigrants yet again. Although I think it's a little risky. I will take them on, but it is a bit risky. What else could we do with them? I guess the fourth person go in here. And just keep helping the buildings. Alright, so we've got eight people with something... With nothing to do. I guess, yeah, just work the other industries, right? Just while we're available to do other things in our off-season winter. Just make clothes. Do whatever else you can. There we go. So we're getting clay. How much clay do we have? 144. Let's get some sand. We've only got one. Then we can get more res um, reservoirs if we wanted to. Speaking of, I guess we'll just do this. So it's a good way to rotate, actually. Maybe that will just keep everything going. Um, could also turn this on. Get some people chopping uh, for domestic fuel yet again. So we've got no free workers now, and the farms are offline, but everyone's on the hunting. The hunting's maxed out, the fishing is maxed out. People are on reeds, textiles, getting all the shoes made. Hey, we've actually got some shoes in reserve. Nice. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Oh, they just got gone. They just got taken immediately. <laughs> well, that's okay. At least they're producing them and using them. But yeah, food is low. I'm just very concerned about that, especially taking on more people all the time. But, you know, I could build another hunter's hut, I guess, and just keep getting meat. They did get a lot last year. This year, you know, 60 venison, leather, buffalo meat, feathers, goose, alpaca wool. It's interesting, actually, getting alpaca wool. You can get some warm clothes with that. Speaking of warm clothes, the citizen Drew, he's freezing. He's one of our foresters. But people have what they need for that. Domestic fuel is okay. Water is okay. Yep. It's just... It's the goddamn food problems all the time. So when it comes to basically, I suppose... Are we making this, by the way? Yeah, we, oh my god, we made 582 veggie salads last year. This year even, sorry. Good, that's great. <laughs> they have been told not to eat the broccoli. 
So that's good. Yeah, at least they're working on that and making that stuff all the time. Love to see it. I think they're just consuming it immediately, though, because we're not storing any up. There's none in reserves. Oh, oh my god, I didn't realize. Hunger 15. Happiness 40. Hunger 8. Happiness 20. So it does definitely do better. I mean, it was kind of obvious, but good, good to see the actual number. All right. Yeah, that's good. I mean, another one of these wouldn't be a bad idea then. Just really, like... Make is I mean veggie salad using only broccoli. I don't know <laughs> how good that salad really is, but I'm happy to see it. Um, yeah, we don't need everyone on this water then, so it's kind of tempting. I think I will build another one of these. If they could just make this at a faster rate, we could maybe hit the demand that everyone has. Or I suppose that's kind of what the butcher is going to be for. So maybe just get building that. Okay, sorry. Keep getting your water. We'll let the butchers be built now. So let me slow down time just a little bit and have a little read through the technology. Time is still moving in the background, but I want to see... Well, the butcher gets meat chop. So we did look at this in the previous episode, but I've kind of forgotten. It said something about um, having it be cured. It can be used to make a cured meat at the curing workshop. It's a kind of raw food. All right, the curing workshop. So would that be maybe just livability? Do we have a curing workshop? Drinks, heating, marquee, da 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 da. Not seeing it there. Well, actually, I mean, this is just quicker. We could just search it. Um, structure. Curing workshop. Uh, can process fish or meat and salt into salted meat or salted fish. It requires 50 stone, 50 iron ore, and 60 timber. I wonder where you get it from. <laughs> Curing workshop. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. The only thing that I'm thinking that we're missing for that is the calcification building. Uh, calcining kiln. So this is what we need to make salt. I think. Is it? Salt making. Unlocks the salt works, curing workshop, and baking house. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. This is just here. So we need planks, iron ore, and clay. We've got all that. And then, yeah, the curing workshop. Nice. Okay, we could do this. Salt makes extract salt from water, which is one of the main... One of the materials of salted meat. Okay. Let's try to make better food for people. It's, we're a bit late to the party on that, but... It should help. So there's the curing workshop. But we have to get the salt first. So as a hard resource. Let's just search it. So it needs water, obviously, as well. So I guess just somewhere here, and we can rotate it around that way. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> you can actually build it pretty far out in the water. I think that kind of looks cooler. About there. I guess to keep it even with the other building there is better. Okay, cool. So yeah, we've got all that. 114 in reserve, easily have all that. So let's the time play. Let's get a road to go out here. I'm hoping we get really good food from this because if I just have a look actually then as well. Uh, not in here, sorry. At food, so let's see. Smoked meat, salted meat. Now it doesn't tell me here how much food and hunger it gives me, actually. So, when you have meat, chop in the butchers, and salt from the curing workshop, filling food, better to prevent hunger. I mean, it is, yeah, I'm guessing it's better than raw food. Smoked meat as well. Made with beef and domestic fuel at a barbecue house. Provides better filling lists and slight stress relief. Hmm, that's a bit too advanced for me, but... That's what I'd like to get is... Oh, the immigrants are here. Sure, let's just do it. They're gonna eat all the rest of our food and start dying, though. All right, we've taken them on. Super risky. Somehow, no. I was going to say. <laughs> uh, didn't have any plague, though. That's good. And only one person was injured. That's not bad. Um, hmm. Okay, so with uh, what can I do really quickly with these people? I guess just quickly as well do a gather all out this way. A gather all here. While we're also going to just tell them to build a few extra houses and put a few extra builders in the job. Right, that's good. It's going to be great, but I just worry that they're going to start really starving. Um, so houses and the salt building is getting done 
as well, okay? It is tempting to build that big house. But five houses like this should be okay, I think, for a, for a little bit. I'll have to get a second market eventually as well. Alright, we'll see how that goes. It's a lot of wood. Uh, we should have the stone and the ore to do it. We've got loads of clothes, tools. That's all fine. It's just food that's the concern. The water is okay. The fuel maybe because they're going to be filling up these houses with fresh amounts of fuel. So that's going to put a strain on fuel. We are refining it though right now. So hopefully that'll be okay. Get some extra people in there. The forestry buildings are full capacity as well right now. Yep, they're felling and planting. They got 102 timber this year. This one got 258. Of course, we told it mostly to chop. They're currently gathering food as well. All right, I mean, I'm doing everything I can. Everyone's maxed out on hunting, gathering, fishing. Uh, the farms will be coming online early next year. And we've got all these extra people we can put on those farms. And we told them to do a gather all just to see if they can piece together anything else. Did we get any animals? Still no animals. God damn, that's really unlucky. Alright, we'll get them to build their own houses, though, I guess. Alright, speed of time times 10. I feel like I didn't really get that much done in this episode. I mean, I built storage, and I kind of looked through progression trees, and we survived another year, but... I don't know, I guess I haven't actually done that much this time, other than just survive. Alright, some of the houses are getting done. Good. This is being built as well. It's got everything it needs. Yeah, I'd like to start getting some salt production going, then we'll get the butchers up and running as well. That requires... We are low on iron ore, are we? Did I tell them to stop doing this? Oh man. Yeah, let's get more people in here then, just while we have them. Alright, that leaves five laborers right now. Maybe just uh, one less than this actually, so three. And we can put three and three on the farms again, that's what we had originally. So what is it? It's February. So yeah, let's just bring this down to three. Bring this down to three. I'm happy with making this stuff again. It got us through it. You know, nobody died. Amazingly. Um, so one. All right, there we go. Six people. So that's it. That's everyone already um, doing stuff. We do have a lot of builders right now, but we kind of need them. Ah, oh, someone just came of age. 65 people in total in uh, working population. 110 in total, though. Thriving little town that's right on the edge of death constantly. What's your problem? Oh, someone's just in here without a home. That's what it is. Alright, those noises just signify buildings getting done. Which we learned. So let's just take one person off the builders. Assign one person here to salt making. I'll just store up a little bit in the background until we get the butchers going. And then we need to get the cure curing workshop thing. No straw shoes available. It's maxed out as well. We need another knitting workshop in order to get this properly up and running. Or just better durable shoes made from leather, which would be nice. Still low on wood as well. It's going to collapse these categories down. There we go. Still telling them not to touch broccoli and how much... So you're out of stuff, are you? Yeah. Lack of raw material. They can get off the job. Alright, well we have a few extra people just help with the iron, I guess. Um, so, current situation, four people are kind of sick, nine people without homes, and that's it. No one's hungry right now. Food is just right on the edge, though, and we should... Yet, yeah, they're planting again already, so that's good to see. Still haven't <laughs> engaged with trade. I think the next episode, which may be the final episode, uh, depending on, will be to do a trade. And hopefully we'll be able to bring in the stuff that we're in de desperate need of. What's your problem? Lack of raw materials as well for wood. Oh, God. We'll keep this one on, turn that one off. That was a sawmill, by the way, sorry. Uh, yeah, a few extra people in here then. Yeah, I reckon let's even start with it now. Maybe a trading post? Small trading post somewhere over here. While it does take quite a lot of materials again, it will at least 
allow us to maybe sell something. We've got a lot of clothes, actually. So, maybe sell some rough clothes or something. I don't know. Or we could just take people off that job now for a while. And bring in food. Or, you know, I imagine food's probably, roughly speaking, kind of cheap. The raw ingredients, anyway. Like, I can't believe... I think we got really lucky, or I missed it, not getting an animal. Because you usually get them pretty regularly. Like, every couple of months it'll say, like, Hey, you found a turkey, or something. Birth rates are really good. Oh my god, uh, look at that. We passed over 100%. 102% now. 104% or 102. And basically, that means we are now consuming less food. So that's actually really important for us to hit that mark. And did we ever find any of the seeds? What else do we got? A staple food. Oats, chickpea. And this can't scroll. Nope. That's all we got. Okay. Yeah. No animals found. No blueprints. And... Just like six, I guess, seeds so far. Still all to play for. It could all collapse any t any moment. The butcher is taking a break. So meat chop. There you go. Start chopping. And you're making salt. They made 30 already. So then we need the curing building. That'll be the last thing I guess I build today. Curing workshop. Can process fish or meat and salt into salted meat or salted fish. So we could tell them not to even eat the fish and hopefully make that the fish last a little bit better as well. God damn, so many buildings to get going. Just never have enough construction material. Uh, we do have five laborers. It's kind of tempting to build another forestry hut just to constantly be chopping. But I guess we can just also tell them to gather all again. Just like that. Gotta say, this game's like super addictive, you know? As I, I just want to just keep going because I feel like I'm always on the cusp of solving whatever issue I'm having. <laughs> Which I guess I'm just not because I constantly have one. But yeah, good fun. All right, that's going to have to be it for this episode. So there's one more to come at the very least. And uh, I say at the very least because the sponsorship is for five videos. And to do a series, a sort of a mini-series. I want to do more mini-series in general, about five, six episodes, uh, to try out different games just now and then. Uh, to complement the longer-running ones that go on for, like, really long. Um, and then, obviously, like, that allows me to experiment and see if certain series do really well. I can kind of continue them that way. Um, there's a few games on the horizon that I definitely have in mind for as well. Um, but if you have any other ideas or games that you'd be looking forward to seeing, uh, potentially on the channel or anything like that, let me know, you know, always keep an eye out. It doesn't have to be city building and strat um, city building specifically. I want to kind of branch out just a little bit every now and then, but obviously I do love my city builders. So that's going to be it for this episode. Remember, it is a sponsored series, so you can always check out the game in the using the links in the description. They're actually not even tracking links or affiliate links or anything. It's just to point you towards Steam, just so you can find the product page, find the game, and see if it's something that'll tickle your fancy. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.